The essence of the uh, visit is to foster an, an effective coordination in policy formulation, implementation, and delivery of the ministry's mandate. It is to improve synergy between both institutions, particularly the military and the civilian organs that are supposed to be supporting the military in discharging their constitutional mandate. It is to ensure proper and effective communication between both institutions. Permit me, sir, to mention that on my assumption to duty, I not noticed some gaps in the relationship, both horizontally and vertically, and it shouldn't be so. We should work seamlessly as a team to ensure that the mandate of the armed forces of Nigeria under able leadership is actualized and met. Also, it is to reaffirm our commitment to do our level best to ensure that the services perform their constitutionally assigned mandate efficiently and without any destruction. Of course, you, we all know the implication of uh, the destruction that will uh, hamper the operational efficiency of the services. So therefore, I'm here to reaffirm our commitment, sir, and to the officers and men that are here that the ministry will ensure that the right policy environment is created for the uh, operational uh, success of the defense headquarters. It is on this note that I want to reaffirm that my deployment to the Minister of Defense, sir, is to ensure that the Commander-in-Chief is availed the correct information and the right information on the activities of the Ministry, and also to ensure that at any point in time, the Ministry will endeavor to provide a fertile environment for the Defense Headquarters to conduct all the operations that we have just seen, and also its policy uh, activities effectively and efficiently. I thank you so very much, sir. I'm highly impressed with the motivation, with the facilities I've seen, of course, under your able leadership. I wish to use this opportunity to express a profound appreciation to the Honorable Minister for his unwavering commitment and support to the armed forces and has enabled us to execute our constitutional responsibility efficiently. Furthermore, I wish to congratulate the Permanent Secretary as well on his well deserved appointment, which I believe is a testament to his dedication to the advancement of our dear nation. On our part, as the Defense Headquarters, we will look forward to a seamless working relationship with your office. Once again, the Permanent Secretary and Director for the Ministry of Defense, we are most grateful for this formalization talk.